Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. I'm the Mysterious JG. And my sound was acting funny. Ah, I hope this isn't another one of those videos where I'm going to have weird sound problems. Um, but anyway, the last time you joined me, I had crashed my PS2, and thus we were not able to actually... Uh, we tried to do a, a debate. And I crashed the PS2... And about 15 to 20 minutes worth of recording uh, has been eaten up by uh, the PlayStation emulation god. Well, not emulation, but PlayStation recording gods. So, this big fat army I deployed out of Runon is still in Runon. And that's really the first thing we need to take care of. I am working, it looks like, on the research that I did. I must have set out about that research right before I... Uh, Ended my turn before I placed two guards face down in my graveyard and ended my turn. Or whatever the hell we do on that show. Let's give these guys 250 days worth of food. I got crazy food in that place. Why not? Well, might be excessive. Let's see, 30,000. How much did I have before I did anything? 26, 640, something, okay. And I was going to give them enough gold to replace those towers if I so chose. But what I was starting to do in that last video was like just actually lead a big fat invasion force here. That would actually push on to Shochun. Because the deal is, folks, that... Um, I've been thinking about my strategy. I like the idea of letting Wei and Wu fight each other for as long as possible over, like, these areas. But, um, they're really only fighting in Shochun, and Shochun is now, like, threatening me. Well, maybe I'll leave Shochun alone. The problem is I really don't want Wu to grab any of Wei's territory. I want them to continue to fight and stalemate here. I don't want either side to make progress, and if I wanted a side to make progress, I'd rather Wei made progress against Wu, frankly. Because that means that I could uh, take that territory from Wei, who I'm already at war at, before starting the eventual war with Wu. But for Wu to take Shochun would just be kind of an inconvenience. So what I'm debating doing is like beginning my invasion of Cao Cao's territory here. I'm going to take the Bei Ping soon enough. But, uh, like letting Jiang Ping beat Cao P's final city, the way it generally is when I attack Cao P, or Cao Cao. Usually I end up chasing them up here, and this is the last city that falls. So I might just let let these guys live, station a garrison here that's enough to deal with them, and uh, concentrate on taking this territory, and then once this territory is taken, quickly take this territory. But if it's, that way, while this, this is our last city, I can get things organized and ready to go here against Wu, is what I'm saying. So I think it's time to start attacking Shaochun and those cities. Um, even though I said I was going to do that last. You said you were going to kill me last. I lied. Ganning is like Super Tower Man, which is kind of bizarre. I would think he would be better suited to leading, leading one of these units. I don't want to put all my best guys on the same unit together. Oh, and that's right, and I remember what I... The other thing that I did was I, uh... Did a round of promotions. Because, um... Gan Ning got a higher rank when I did, uh... A round of new promotions. I was able to command more troops. And ended up being in charge of the city rather than, uh... Way on. Ganning took over the city, so it's like saying that Wei Yan's got to be kind of pissed. So we'll give him his own kick-ass spear unit. With plenty of gold and plenty of food. Hunga! Hunga dunga, hunga dunga, hunga dunga, and McCormick. Gotta get a pike unit out there, too. Good old way chain reaction yawn. He too goes, Hunga! 
Jurong is now in charge of the city. She's in the city. I'm just going to keep doing that, folks. <laughs> Sorry. Yu <laughs> Chen and his kick ass tower unit is here. And we'll be like, alright, Wu, this is how you take a fucking city. We send out a million uh, rams, no fucking ground troops helping them out. Another pike unit, because I remember Zhu Rong being good with them. Is she good with cavalry? I think she would be. No, she's not. Interesting. Sound has got to stop skipping like this. It's making me nervous. So I think I've got these guys outnumbered. They can sweep through Shochun. It's enough, enough soldiers, so not necessarily enough officers, to start building Shochun re relatively rapidly. Uh. I'm of course going to need to do something about GP eventually and Xiao P. I'm hesitant to move out of Puyang, Liu Bei's city, because although it could take Xiao P pretty easily, uh, the biggest troop concentration Cao P has left is at Bei High. And if I take a bunch of troops out of here, they might be tempted to do something. So can Chen Liu doesn't really have enough troops to do anything though. And I think I finally put you guys in a computer district, didn't I? Yes. Okay. You guys have a ton of troops, but you don't really have officers. So, how long would it take for, say, a non-cavalry unit coming out of Zhu Chang to attack Xiao uh, Pi? 80 days. All right. This is what I'm going to do. We've already got quite a few forces on the way here, including Guan Yu and JG Mystery, but I've got good military officers still here, I think, don't I? People that I could move to Zhu Chang. Zhu Chang was the city that I was going to attack from, right? Zhu Chang should be here, yeah. Ma Yun Lu's good. Wen Pin's good. And Mass Songer. Move those three out of there to Zhu Chang. Oh, there it is. Zhu Chang right away. This is slightly different from what I did before. I was going to have the guys in uh, Zhu Chang move a ton of troops and supplies down to Runan. Runan is going to be a frontline city when we go to war with Wu, but I should have time to, to get down there and organize stuff. At my leisure, sort of, kind of, maybe. And personnel move, destination, Zhu Chang. Get Sun Wukong down there, probably, at the very least. Liu Hua is a pretty hardcore kick ass officer. Ma Dai, Dang Ai, Wang Zhong, Sun Wukong, Wang Yui. There's a lot of good officers here. Liu Yi, yay. <laughs> All those guys can move down there. Oh, it is Yu Zhong right away. And now you guys who are currently rebuilding um, Nan P, there's, a, there's some good officers here, right? Yeah, Falger, I hate you, Jen, Leg Lego, Ma Chao. There's a, well, Ma Chao is currently in the field. Shank Fan and Zhao Yun are still there, so that's plenty of like military firepower dudes there. Once they've got Nan P built, uh, like pretty much almost all of them, maybe I'll leave three behind. They'll all come into Bay Ping and start building it up. Um, while hopefully these guys will not attack Bay Ping before I'm ready. 
they've only got two officers there, but if I get Bei Ping built up so that it will be the bulwark against any kind of assault out of Jiang, Jiang Ping, any, any attempt by Cao Pi to like actually start retaking his territory, I will hold off, I will hold them here, like sort of trapped and cornered, while I build up and take over this stuff. Um, make sure, eventually, before I take this city, I'm going to want to have good officers here, because I'll, all this blue will be mine before I start fighting Wu, probably. So I'll have good officers here, here, and here, and here. Big armies in those four cities. Uh, to be really safe, I'd want to keep make sure that I don't have like a big weakness over here also, but I'll leave that in computer's hands, I think, because I'll be on offense. It's going to be hard for them to press an attack over here. Uh, yeah, and that will allow me to basically gobble up Wu, because uh, although it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on here, those are both ports. This city here is going to be assaulted probably from Runan. And once this city falls, then Wu is really going to be just basically the corner here. These little ports are not going to be able to raise troops and produce forces. They're just things that I'm going to have to pick up along the way. So, excellent. Things are going uh, pretty darn well, I think. And I, I need to reinforce Runan eventually, but uh, it is going to be the recipient of aid from these... Cities like Xinyi, I'm sure, at some point. And uh, right now, I'm going to have a big army marching out of it, so there's very little chance that Cao Pi is going to be able to sneak up behind and threaten it. And right now, we still have good relations with Wu. Actually, if Wu is going to attack me, it's going to be in Xinyi. So, if things start going badly, I'll take over, but I'll let the computer defend itself uh, first. They might not be super efficient at it, but I can't be everywhere at once. Now... And what does that mean? Well, that means that here I need to, um, well, I won't do anything there yet. Puyang will be the city that is going to uh, attack Beihai. I just need to make sure that I don't leave them so strapped for defenders. Like, I don't send so many troops out of there that there's nothing left. Uh, and Zhao Pi attacks, but Zhao Pi will be under attack, of course, from Zhu Shang pretty soon. I mean, if I, I could take my time and use Beihai to conquer both of those cities, first Zhao Pi, consolidate, then Beihai, but I'm trying to sort of keep things moving rapidly. Branded Elementa, come on in here and get ready to fuck shit up. Unless this time I'll let Ma Chao lead this around attack, it's, it's not going to take the city. It's just going to soften it up some. And this city is, in fact, mine. There is no way that they can prevent this city from falling now. Um, I thought that I was going to send some cavalry units out there just to harass them. But, yeah, as the things progressed, I was like, well, you know, I'll feed some more troops into that attack and just keep it going. She's ready to go. You probably need to be doing domestic stuff over here. I have a smith and a stable going. And then I think I was going to do another barracks instead of another market. But I'll leave it to the last minute to make up my mind about that for sure. And I should also check and see if I need to uh, reward anybody, which I probably do. Yeah, I probably needed to reward more than just those four people. But hey. Alright, well, if I'm going to keep my eyes on anything, I should keep my eyes on Ganning and his crew uh, and see if they get attacked on this turn. Because they're taking out my towers, I can't believe it. They have hastened their own doom. By trying to counterattack me, they just basically woke up the sleeping tiger in a, in a way. I mean, I had a big force there that I wasn't ready to do anything with yet, and they just kind of stirred them into action. Clearly, they would have eventually come after them, but... And they continue to attack my farms. Bunch of douchefags. That's the second time that farm has been destroyed in this LP, because, of course, it was destroyed in the video that 
didn't get used because of this. Honorable Liu Bei, Zhang Liang has something to discuss. All right, this time, I'm not going to watch the debate. <laughs> I gather you have something you wish to discuss. Yes, I have an acquaintance named Ji Fan, Fan, a person of great talent, who I feel certain would be of service to you. Is that so? Very well. Make arrangements immediately. Understood. Are you there? Oh, is that you? What do you want? Well, I came in the hope that we might employ your talents. We would like you to join our army, will you? Enigmatic smile. Hmm, I would like to help, but it's a big decision. How about we settle with the debate? If you win, I'll join your army. Watch the debate? No. Alright, you win. Because <laughs> he was out, he was like 69 intelligence, woo, versus 100, so of course. Alright, you win. Let's go and see your lord. I have brought you the one, I brought the one I told you of. My name is Yu Fan. I've heard much of Liu Bei from my friend here. I will serve you to the utmost of my ability. Good, I'll expect great things from you. Understood. Yu Fan has become a supported officer. It's awesome, and this time it didn't crash the PlayStation. Buttons and bows. Dun -dun. All you did was like 370 damage. Leo Jun, you are no Lu Jun, that's for sure. Bongju, Bongju, Bonga Bonga. This looks bad. You don't know the half of it, buddy. My main force hasn't arrived to beat the crap out of you yet. What? No damage. You suck. See if they can do that twice. Yes, they can. I hate you, Tsao Tsao. Tsao Pete. Whoever you are. Ganning versus Zhang Liao. This is an old rivalry. Some import. I lost more troops than they did. Sucky. Or maybe that was food I was seeing at the very end there. This might take a while for me to get past all these guys, actually. They seem to be throwing out the old, uh... They've got zero will. These guys have zero will. They're pikes, so they might have super shields. No, it's uh, spears who sometimes have super shields. I was actually lucky. No, it's pikes. Damn it. Fortitude. He's got fortitude. That's that's what it's that's what's happening. Fortitude, I think, is the skill where um, with few men, 50% chance of no damage. Shit. So he can't really hurt us much, but he's going to be a real pain in the ass to get rid of. That's what's going on here. Oh well. Uh, that's what he said. Uh, that was 20 action points to get one more will, but hey, I want to have five soldiers at full will when we attack. Damn it! All right. Brandon Alamana, do your thing. Aim true. And they survive. Can they survive this? Yes, they can. Crap. Oh well. It would appear that there's no way I can get Jing Tsai the credit for this, so it's going to go to Brandon Elementa. The only way to me to get the credit for this with Jing Tsai would be to attack it with her using combined attack on twice, two different turns, which would be a complete waste of time. I can't really justify delaying things for a turn just because I like it when Jing Tsai takes over cities. Although I do like it when Jing Tsai takes over cities, it's fun. Now, over here, uh, Zhang Fei is going to continue the thankless task of constantly drilling troops. City here continues to reinforce, although it's not really 
as essential as it once was now, because it seems like uh, I've now made plans to go ahead and deal with um, is it Bay High over here sooner rather than later. Yeah. And to that end, uh, you guys are not really going to be a big part of that, but uh, you guys will be once all those officers arrive. So is there anything while well, we can drill? And then we can reward, which I should have done at the beginning of the turn. Once again, there's probably more guys than that that need their loyalty increased, but I didn't get to it fast enough. Bunga bunga bunga. Where are you guys heading? Oh, well, I'll find out in a minute. I don't think. He... Yeah, these guys never mess with my towers up there, so that's probably good. They came over here and messed with these towers, which is what's triggered their downfall. You can't blame Cao P. I mean, he was gonna he was gonna lose if he just hung back and defended. He had to try to do something. probably attack the closest thing I had to a weak point other than trying to send troops back north of the Yellow River. Cool. You command us as you see fit. Only 630 troops left there. These are the guys to use tactics against. Okay, we did hurt Jang Liao more than he hurt us. That's nice. Oh, I should have put them in there. They could have used that spin around tactic. Shit. That would have been a smart move. Okay, no damage. And they followed up and did no damage again. I hate this unit. Bunga bunga! And they're dead, and he's captured. I would not help you even were to save my own life. Okay. No. That's because he, like, fought bravely and was a pain in the ass. Doesn't mean I get to kill him. Damn it. You're going to prison. Go high. Now I get to hit these guys with uh, arrows forever. I take a page out of the uh, tactics of Wu and send a siege unit out here ahead of any reinforcement or defenders. A bit of fire will change things, Scarecrow. Didn't really seem to damage it that much. And we're not going to capture Zhang Liao with arrows, so this may have been a mistake, but... We'll capture him when we take the city, unless they pull him back to a city farther away, which they might. I mean, when we take South P's last city, there's going to be like a million frickin' officers in there. There's always a million officers. When you, when you break down one of the big kingdoms, there's always a million officers in the last city you end up taking. Meanwhile, this city has, like, one dude in it. And he's going to inspect. Well, I suppose, in theory, I should make him build a new farm. You know, it's only going to take him 40 days. That's not too bad for one officer by himself building a farm. I was, like, surprised to see the develop command. And I was like, oh, yeah, they wrecked one of my farms. You're going to wreck this farm! So, that was cool. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, I want to reward soldiers before the turn goes too long. Or before I've done too much of the stuff. There's only one, now this time, there's only one guy. But it was not Huang Guy, because he's not in my force. 
Oh, wow. How did it get down to 955? Jing Tsai is going to be able to take the credit. Sweet. Sorry, Brandon Elemina. <laughs> but you'll get to go and park in there and actually be active on the next turn with uh, doing exciting domestic activities. We captured Gong Zoom Yuan. Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, not nearly you. He's the only guy in the city. My defeat was too. Well, you're kind of you were kind of screwed, man. They pretty much just left you there, like one of those German field marshals. Oh shit! I should have made uh, JG Mysteries unit take the city. No, oh well. I guess I'll just have to live without that credit for that glorious kill. And Guan Yu still outranks everyone ever. So. But yeah, it's like when uh, Hitler would promote somebody to, like, Field Marshal, or Feld Marshal, when they were surrounded by the Red Army, like, and you know, there was no chance they could escape, he would, uh, you know, use the telegraph to promote them to Field Marshal on the spot, the expectation being that they would then kill themselves rather than be captured. Hitler was a real swell guy. But yeah, and then, like, famously, the guy who, the, the commander at Stalingrad was promoted to Field Marshal, for that purpose, and he was like, fuck this, and surrendered, and like, you know, dishonored the Nazi army, and it was like, I don't think that was really the biggest dishonor, stain marking the Nazis, but okay, that's how they looked at it anyway. Okay, and we were going to build another barracks, I think, rather than uh, mark it. And there we go. That's that taken care of. The city's lost a lot of its officers because half of them were exported down to... Um... Oh, they still got prisoners here. That's what I should be doing with these action points. Trying to get some of these prisoners hired. Jinpi doesn't want to work for us. Yuan Huan. Zhu Huang. Zhu Huang and Sima Yi, they were the two big, big uh, name dudes that I wanted to get on my side. Let's see if we can get Liu Bei or the Empress to hire any of these guys. Empress Doom Screamy. <laughs> Here I am, everyone. Zhu Hong is in prison. 73 loyalty. Doom Screamy could probably hire this guy. What about you? No. No. Tai Chi Ziyang, I sort of doubt that. He's the son of Tai Chi Zi. Chen Biao might be fun to get in our force to further piss off Sun Xuan. <laughs> 30 good officers here that we should be moving out. Really what I'm what I'm about now folks is I'm trying to figure out who we can move down here. Uh, cuz I don't want like the best officer I've got down here is Ma Su who was famous for fucking up the invasion of Wei in real history. So I don't really want him to be a big part of the attack when it finally happens, but Maybe it'd be fun to let uh, actual Zing Ching Tsai play a role on this. But we still have to develop and stuff up here. Or recruit and inspect. But it might be fun to move Zhang Shi down there. She's got pretty mediocre stats, but... They're not awful. See, who's got a decent leader? She's got the best war stat. If they had a fighting tournament in this city, it would be won by Jing Tsai. Except she'd have some trouble with Hu Jun. Who has better leader? He's a good guy to move down there, actually. Yeah, her intelligence is the lowest stat. I guess they figure she's Zhang Fei's daughter, so how smart can she be? And uh, Ma Liang. 
No, let's move uh, Wang Zhu down there. I'll head for Changsha right away and try to run into some kind of since I'm alternate universe Jingsai, I'll try to run into alternate universe Guan Ping. Oh, maybe this means that my Jingsai can marry uh, Guan Ping and um, the real game Jingsai will be stuck with uh, Liu Shan. That would be that would be lovely. Now. Let's recruit, but let's leave one dude out so that we will have not enough action points left to inspect. I forgot about that. Now my order is down to 87. Oh, well, I've had very little trouble with uh, bandit citadels appearing on my territory, but I might be inviting that to happen here. Ah, well. What's the worst that can happen? I have a bandit citadel to deal with. Big whoop. Development of the Smith and non-P is complete. Hey, my dudes have shown up in Zhu Chang. Fire together. Oh, that's Sao P. Sao P is personally coming out to uh, try to defend this city. Somebody just whiffed a tactic just off of my screen because I could hear the sound and not see them. That is Sao P. He is Sao P. Oh, I should have blown up the fire thing right next to him. What was I thinking? I can still do that. I can still do that. Fiery Chinese symbols. Craziness. Of course, now I've taken one of the primary places from which to attack Sao P directly, but eh. anybody that messes with him now will be in range of those archer turrets. Can't really worry about that too much, though. Damn, this thing is not going down easy. Right now, nobody's actually in range of the uh, archer turrets. If I wanted to just uh, help them with arrows from over here. Over here! And they will, of course, return fire. You get caught up in the town fire! Boom, boom. Alright, so P, you may come to regret. I may come to regret setting that fire because it's just hurting my own mobility. But you may regret come to regret having uh, marched out of the city like that. Now, Zhang He is running that city with his alternate name. His secret identity is Zhang Yui. Oh, yeah, we haven't really looked at the map since uh, I took over that city. It's pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Now that I'm all the way up to here, I'm gonna change focus and take over these cities. Seventy thousand troops. They're probably building up there. Oh, they are sending out an attack. But they've only got thirty. That's twelve thousand troops of not great pikes. So I will have to send out a cavalry unit to deal with them. But I've probably got time to start working on other stuff. So let's uh, develop. Got a really good officer force here too. Farms are going to be the first thing for me probably. Oh, this is another one of those cities. It's a good starting city. It's a major, major city of the north. So a couple of mark. Yeah, now I should think about building markets because I've already got the mint in place, which is awesome. But. Okay, that would be four farms and a granary. 
and I could get four markets around this thing. I've already got a barracks and a smith. I got in. Yeah, I can do five five markets, four farms, granary and a mint, two barracks, smith, and a stable. So I'm looking pretty good here. Two of the Sworn Brothers hanging out with uh, Zhang Fei. That's pretty cool. Should have considered moving those officers, but... Um I'll get to that later. Oh, you guys are heading out too, huh? Where are all these guys think they're marching off to? They're heading this way probably to build something, but... Possibly to mess with our stuff. Either way, no point searching here, but they hate me. He hates me. Could hire him, could not hire him, not hire him yet. Yeah. Already got Doom screaming on our way to hire that guy, so. At some point, I gotta figure out where the hell all my uh, ships are, too. Get them all transported to the front lines of Wu. I can already foresee me not having that ready to go. After all this time, not quite being ready when uh, I need to make that attack. Wow, this is a really... It's a shame that Huang Yue Ying isn't in charge, but, so we get the cool hear the, her cool vocalizations and quotes, but uh, this is a pretty serious tower unit. It's got a range and divine forge, which is like extra damage. P is their target, so let's get them over here somewhere. Oh, that's how the the way they're gonna go. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably fine. Let's get some. I need at least one of everything. I'm helping them out. For some reason, they have a different route. Okay, whatever. Soon we're going in Jihelba. not to get any good pike generals down there. I didn't really organize things very carefully, of course. And that's kind of coming back to bite me a little bit. Isn't Ma Yun Lu in this city somewhere? I sent her somewhere else. Ah, shoot.
know why they chose a different path from everyone else, but I want to make sure I've got at least one military unit hanging out with them. And, uh, oh man, I've gone over in this video. Alright, folks, I didn't really realize quite how long I'd gone here, but I need to end this turn and then end the video, I think. Did all my units take all their turns? Yeah. My military action is done. So let's end the turn and the video. Yeah. Oh no, Mao Ji of Yi is dead! Mao Ji of Yi! But yay, today's become aww. And, you know, honor of the death of that guy. Ba Zhang is ill. Yang Yi's int is now 84. My Yun Lu's parties arrived at Zhu Chang. Ah, okay, they hadn't actually gotten there yet. I thought she had been sent there, but... Excuse me, not everyone had arrived, so... My bad on that one. Honorable Liu Bei Chen Kun has something to discuss. Understood. No, I can't lose this video now. It's like 40 minutes long. Gotta yeah, have something you should discuss. Yes, I have an acquaintance named Ji Hao Ling Nu, a person of great talent who I feel certain would be of service to you. Is that so? Very well. Sucks. I want to pick up a Ji Hao because I might be able to use them to hire other Ji Hao's. Are you there? Oh, is that you? What do you want? Oh, it's a woman? Well, I came in the hope that we might employ your talents. We would like you to join our army. Will you? Enigmatic male smile. Hmm, I would like to help, but it's a big decision. How about we settle for the debate? If you win, I'll join your army. I'm just gonna hope that Chen Quan can handle this by himself. I'd really love to hire Ji Hao Ling Du, if nothing else, to find out who she is. She might be Zing Shai's mom. Alright, you win. Let's go and see your lord. Yes! Apparently she's just a dumb chick, but it's still cool we hired her. I brought the one I told you. If she was, like, smart, she would not have been able to be beaten in an automatic duel. I mean, a uh, debate. Oh, I brought the one I told you of, the dumb chick. My name is Ji Hao Ling Nu. I am not that smart. <laughs> I have heard much of Liu Bei and my friend, from my friend here. I would like to serve you the utmost of my ability. Good. Great. Go hire a bunch of other Ji Hao's. Oh, we've got a Ji Hao Ba and Ji Hao Mao. Ji Hao Ba is pretty good, but Ji Hao Mao just ain't cutting it. Understood. Ji Hao Ling Nu has become a subordinate officer. So I'm killing all the Tsao's, but... Yeah. I'm working on uh, Jiang Ping. I'm working on every city of Tsao Tsao's, as a matter of fact. But I have to end the video here, uh, Zhu Ge Liang, and pick that up in a moment. So, when we come back, folks, we're going to... Well, I'll wait till the... Um, Guan... Uh, what's his name? Thing comes up. Ah. Come along now. It just gets a 99% and then sits there. Guan Du, is that, was that his name? Guan Lu. Alright, folks, so when we come back, we're going to read up on uh, Ji Hao Jing Ju, whatever her name was, find out who she is. Uh, we're going to uh, defeat Cao Pi's unit, maybe even capture him, that would be cool. And um, just sort of get on with this adventure. Um, it's, I think it's pretty obvious, it has been for a while, that Wei is doomed. Uh, we're, we're getting closer and closer to their final, ultimate defeat. Then uh, I really need to try to figure out where the hell all those ships are that I built, get them moved to those uh, towns along the uh, Zhangdong, so that we'll be ready to uh, move into Wu's heartland, crush them, and conquer China. Uh, we'll be doing that in future videos. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.